Well, it happened sooner than I thought. I've had to bring home a Corella from work, a little Corella, very little Corella, because his sibling was growing way too big and he was getting pushed aside and not getting fed. So I've had to bring him home to be fed, which is a very good timing. Come on, I'm on your mouth. Come on. Come on. That's it. I don't think he's really had much to eat the last day or so. He was not looking good when we fished him out of the nest box today. But hopefully, get some energy into him and he'll come right. His eyes aren't open yet. He's, um, he's a couple of weeks old, no one here is well developed as his sibling. And by the looks of his eyes, they'll be open in the next day or two. There's still a little bit of um, cotton wool stuck to them. <laughs> Someone put him in a, a bit of cotton wool, which is stuck all over his eyes and all over his feet. Don't put baby birds in cotton wool. No. So that's how we're feeding this little guy. And it is eating this Katie's exact hand raising formula. And this formula is mixed up basically one to one. We do it a little bit less than one to one. So a little bit more powder than water. Once it gets a bit runny. And at the moment it has been fed about every couple of hours. You can see the um, crop there filling up. Food goes into the crop and then, whoa, look at it all swollen up there in the neck. Looks quite horrible. And then it goes down from there into the stomach over the next hour or so. Some funny noises, little fella. <laughs> so now sitting up by itself and eyes are a little bit more open. Moving a little bit more, gaining weight fast. Gaining six grams yesterday. Let's warm up first. with a spoon rather than a syringe. Modified spoon. It'll be a bit bigger in the next shot because we've got to go away for a week. Wow. 
Well, we've been away for a week, and someone has grown dramatically. Especially in the foot department. Feet, nice feet. Solid legs, big feet. Weak. And they're all spiky. Thank you. Now look at the little hedgehog. Hungry little hedgehog. You gonna come away with us on a trip? Yes or no? This is Ella trying to take her first steps. This way. Look at the camera. Wait. She's got a little crest up. Come on. This is her first road trip. Yeah. I'm going to go dragon boating tomorrow, eh? Everybody's laughing at you. <laughs> You don't want to end up like us and keep buying females and end up with five male cockatiels. <laughs> no females at all. This is baby's first steps. Oh. Those ones last time. You do realise you, you're going to be on YouTube discussing all this. And my YouTube followers are going to go, Who's that nasty woman in the background? Hello, They're in TV land. <laughs> I don't know my name. No, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the bird's name? Oh, now look at you got Ella. grass on the Ella. face. Ella the Corella. I will shortly be taking little Ella for her first bush walk. So she can be a real Kiwi bird. So we're off for a walk and Ella is on my back in a backpack. Just hand over the camera. In here. And we'll get her out further along and she can have a look at the view. She's gonna be a well-traveled baby parrot. Here's the beginning of our walk, but for obvious reasons, we um, are not gonna take Ella out on the top of the bridge. This is a bridge we walk over the top and go straight into a tunnel and at the bottom is a road bridge. The tunnel is one kilometre long, thankfully has lights. Not very good for parrot filming in here though. Wait till we get to the other side. So there's the tunnel, it's come out under the same road, one kilometre further under a mountain. It's a bit kind of weird. Another bridge, and Ella in a bag. What's this girl? Come out. 
Scary world. Hmm? Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first stop. See her feathers are just starting to grow in now. She's got the stems and you can see the white the feathers just starting to form. Like a little porcupine, aren't you? Yeah. So the new bridge is on the left. Not quite ready yet. So Ella's gonna have to go on the one on the right. Get some swing, baby. Not too many Corellas in New Zealand will have done this walk. Hello. Have a look. This is in the Karangahaki Gorge region of New Zealand. It's a very cool walk. They've blocked it off. I wanted to go in here. To the underground pump station. Oh well. Get swing bridge though. Swingity bridgity bridgity. This bird video is turning into a bit of a New Zealand nature video. Could use this to rock a by baby. Hey Ella, want to rock? <laughs> Actually, don't mind. You can get it standing up, aren't you? Out of there. Tip right. <laughs> We're not tipping around. <laughs> you 
you getting hungry? Is it time to go back? And then we'll look at the view. It'll be dark soon, Ella. Get you home for a feed. Go home tomorrow. Mm, back to normality, kind of, for you, maybe. As you can see, little Ella's feathers are becoming much more feathery, aren't they? You can take the camera. Please don't be a camera taker. I've already got one of them. See, the feathers are just starting to break out of there. Yeah. Starting to break through there. The fluffy bits coming out. Just see some of the pink starting to form on the feathers around the neck area. Getting much more inquisitive, aren't you? It's your own toe now. Yeah. Hello, Strobe. Last video you saw was last night, less than 24 hours ago, and the feathers have just exploded. You almost look like a feather bird now, eh? You look like a proper bird. We get you used to the camera, don't we? Unlike Birdie McPinkface. 